everyone welcome to my youtube channel evitor updates this is rakesh negi and i wish all engineers a happy engineers day today i'm going to discuss about csd which is constant speed drive regarding its description please see my other youtube video for that i'll share the link and today i'm going to discuss about the construction and operation of csd so as you know csd is a unit which is mounted in between the engine and generator so that it provides a constant drive why do we need a constant drive constant speed is required because the generator's output frequency is determined by the speed it is driven so let's start with the discussion of construction of csd so let's discuss about the construction of csd so as you can see in this picture we have got the basic format of csd here what we have in this picture for csd that is constant speed drive let's understand so as you can see in this picture this is the drive from engine and this drive is connected to this block as you can see this is the cylinder block which rotates so this drive when given from the engine rotates this cylinder block so this cylinder block is connected to these pistons which are in turn connected with a swash plate this swash plate can vary its angle depending on this piston this piston moves because of the pressure in this unit next on the other side this side of cylinder block we have a hydraulic motor that means this cylinder block is come on to this hydraulic pump and hydraulic motor this hydraulic motor has its shaft here as you can see by means of gears internally it is connected to the generator drive output shaft so from this shaft drive is given to the generator next this is called as the center plate or eccentric plate this is in between this plate and this plate this is a swash plate the csd is a hydro mechanical variable ratio drive unit which in its basic form has a variable displacement swash plate type of hydraulic pump and a constant displacement swash plate type of hydraulic motor so this is the one it also has a cylinder block which rotates because of the drive given from the engine this cylinder block is common to this hydraulic pump and hydraulic motor when the engine output drive or input to csd is exactly equal to the required generator speed then the hydraulic motor is hydraulically locked with the cylinder block and both the cylinder block and hydraulic motor rotate together this is called as straight through condition and in which the whole transmission system this and this acts as a fixed coupling next let us take some examples to understand the further operation of csd when the engine output drive or input to csd is greater than the required generator speed then what happens is the governor systems will sense this difference and this applies less pressure to the pump to move its swash plate then the hydraulic pump will act to reduce the speed of the output this is called as under drive condition next if the engine output drive or input to csd is lesser than the required generator speed then pressure in this pump increases to vary its swash plate angle that is the hydraulic motor will turn at a higher speed that is greater than the input drive and this will maintain an output speed which is equivalent to the required generator speed this is called as overdrive condition note that variations in the angle of this swash plate also varies the stroke of these pistons of the pump as these pistons they go round with this cylindrical block so that either a greater or a smaller that is under drive pressure is transmitted to the hydraulic motor pistons now the motor pistons exert a greater or smaller pressure on the motor swash plate assembly so you can see this assembly which is made up of a center plate and an outer plate it which is coupled to the outer shaft which is free to rotate with the ball bearings thus if we assume that an overdrive condition is existing 
That means is when the engine input drive is lesser than the required generator speed, then an increased pressure will be exerted by the motor pistons on the center plate. And it will be as like the center plate is getting squeezed in between this. However, since this center plate is restrained to rotate independently about the axis, fixed axis, it will do so relative to the cylinder block and at a faster rate, thereby overcoming the tendency for the engine to slow down the generator. In an underdrive condition, that means the engine drive is more than the required generator speed. In that situation, the pressure on this plate is decreased as the motor is the hydraulic motor exerts a lesser pressure on this so that it will rotate at a slower rate relative to the cylinder block. I hope all of you have understood the construction and operation of CSD. I will come up again with a new topic in the next video. Till then, enjoy learning and do subscribe my channel. Thank you.